Hello! This is an instructional video on how to install Finite Liquid version 4 for Minecraft version 1.7.3. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is click on one of these three links. They're all the same link. The author just wanted to make a point to click it first. The first thing that we're going to want to download is that person's mod loader. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. So we'll go to their site. And again, we are looking for mod loader. This person makes lots of different mods, it seems. So this is mod loader. It's the first one. We download from AdFly. And of course, AdFly actually produces money for the mod designers every time somebody clicks on it to download their mod. So it's just a little something that they get for taking their time to create these mods for us. So download mod loader zip to your download folder. So we can also download audio mod from this guy and that's a very helpful mod for a lot of different mods. So there's audio mod actually near the bottom. Go ahead and take a couple seconds to download that. And now we're going to go back to this page where we clicked on the mod loader because we have to download one more thing. Alright, so the last thing we have to download is a pain in the butt. For me it was, at least, because I couldn't figure out how to do it properly. So click on the property reader link. You'll come up with this page. There's no installation instructions. Just click the download. And do the add fly thing. Install it into your downloads folder where you install the rest, wherever. And I will get into why it's so stupid later. So look forward to that. Alright, so what you're going to want to click now is the information slash download link. And that will take you to the person's side again. And you're going to want to click this big silver button. This button is spam. And whoever made it should be slaughtered brutally. So click the right download button. It should pop up automatically. If it doesn't, just click there and it will pop up. And if you get a little pop up there saying, oh, we just blocked something. Click here to do whatever. Yeah, just do that. So save it to where you save the other ones, not to confuse yourselves. And now it's complete. That's all we need to download for now. Alright, so all you have to do now is locate where you downloaded all the folders. Hopefully you can do that on your own. Alright, there they are, all nice and neat. So, first thing, you have to unzip the folders. You cannot use them in zipped form. I have this option to extract to, and then it has the file name. And again, this is with WinZip, or Zip7, whatever. Extract to audio mod, and it makes its own little folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that with all of my folders that I downloaded. Alright, again, can't use the zip folder, so go ahead, delete them. Don't need them anymore. And this is what you have now, or should have. Okay, so now you have to find your Minecraft bin folder. It's going to be in the same directory as where you find your downloads folder. It's a hidden file, so make sure that you have show hidden files on, and you can search on how to do that. So, Minecraft, app data, roaming, dot Minecraft, bin, then you're going to see one 
folder named Minecraft. That's this. This is your Minecraft.jar, even though sometimes it doesn't say it. Make sure you open it with the same thing that you're using for um, your zip folders. Otherwise, it's not going to open for you. For these mods, you don't need Minecraft bin anymore. Go ahead and close out of that. Get your downloads over here. And very simple. All you're going to have to do is copy the folders over. Make sure you don't copy them into a smaller folder. Drag them over there. And this is, again, this is going into Minecraft jar. Alright, so we just finished the audio mod. We didn't catch that. Now we're going to do finite liquid. So go ahead and highlight all that and copy it into Minecraft jar and make sure that you're adding and replacing the files or copy and replace files whatever the option is make sure that you replace them go back to your downloads mod lower same thing copy and paste alright so that's the easy part. Now we're going to have to do property reader in an ES. Alright, so since I am telling you it's not that difficult, but it took me a while to figure it out. You have to go into it, go into old version 1.4, and only copy this over. The rest of the files in that zip are useless to you. You can delete them and kill their babies and pillage their village pillage their village is that a saying i don't know okay so now we have copied all the necessary files into minecraft jar are we done yet da, 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 da. the most important thing to do before you try running Minecraft is to delete meta inf right there right there you need to delete it if you don't delete it then you will get the black screen of death I guarantee you and you will lose your save folders you'll be mad so make sure you delete that before you try opening the game Alright, so now you should be good to go. Go ahead, open your Minecraft, sign in. Ah, redemption! This means that you have installed it correctly. Now you can create your new world. It's building the terror rain. The terror rain. There's supposed to be an O right there. It's the terror rain of terror. And that is being building. Saving chunks. And then you will see purple squares everywhere for some reason. And squid riding off into the sunset. And if you have a Minecraft world already, and then you look at this world that I just created, this is the finite liquid color. It's very clear, easy to see in. Even though this mod comes with a scuba suit, it's already pretty <laughs> see through. So that's how you do it, and you spy on the squids and their sexual habits. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, yeah, stop it.